Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Song of Horror. Where last we left off, we ended up running around an abandoned asylum. Sounds like a bad idea, wouldn't you say? Well, kind of is, because naturally we're getting hunted by all sorts of horrible griblies. But we're trying to figure some stuff out. I believe it's something to do with the original founder of the box. Not entirely sure. Been a while. So, what I will say is, there's a bit that I need to go back to. And if I just get the game loading up now. Um, there was a bit upstairs where I'd switched on a lamp. Now, in post-editing, I thought to myself, that hole in the wall... Maybe something's illuminated in the room next door. So, I'm going to go and have a look. That's if the game loads and hasn't crashed. Okay. The notes started moving again. Honestly, uh, none of your character's attributes will help you to survive the Requiem. Is that the thing with the mirror? But I've changed this. I don't know if that's going to stop me from being able to go where I'm wanting. God, I forget just how scary this game is. You know, after this, I might have to play something a little more light-hearted for you guys. Because, uh, honestly, playing these scary games all the time is... Uh, it started away on my anxiety, mate. As stupid as that sounds. Right, um, hidey place. One back there. I think I've got one upstairs as well. Uh, just to let you know, I am playing this during the day. However... I am alone in this flat right now. And that's scaring the heebie-jeebies out of me. I'm pretty sure it's this room I need to go into. Oh, hello. It doesn't like the light. But it likes the song. Let me just check it. Okay, so I have a hidey hole here. <clears throat> let's have a look at this it doesn't like the light but it likes the song so we've got to hit the notes that are shadowed so okay this is interesting oh are we playing that horrible freaking gribbly tune wait what's that one it's got a line and a little curvature along the bottom. I think it's this one. No, nah, I don't think that was right. But we'll get to the end and find out. Um, I've got the memory like a sieve, so I will have to keep uh, scooching back up to that and back to this, just to check. Wait, what is it? Uh, is a circle and a line. Okay, squiggly note. Followed by. Wait, was it that one? Yeah, it was that one. And I think it's this one? No, that's in the light. Don't touch the light. Uh, so I need the weird squiggly one again. And a triangular piece. See, that one's weird. It looks like this one, but I don't think it is. And a weird letter Y. Piano key. A key pulled out from a piano due to the peculiar sound it made. Uh, ha, ha, oh! The key seems to weigh a bit more than the others. 
but just a bit. Okay, I needed to... I see a, a small key hidden inside a piano key. I see they hid this tiny key in here. That's a lot of keys. Right, so we have that. Play? These notes, I felt something indescribable. Terrifying. Yeah, you're now a part of this mess, love. Okay. Where do I need to go to? Oh, ah, da, 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 da. there we go. No, I don't know. Oh, wrong button. That's going to get me killed. Now, does that key open that door up there? Uh, small cabinet. I, I need some kind of tool to. Right, was this door creepy? I know one of them was. I can just about remember that much. Not that way. Okay, so that's not the key for that door. All right. The music here is absolutely oh god is uh is someone else. I ain't gonna lie. And let me tell you, you other brothers can't deny. Fuck you and your flicky lights. Why do they have to use flicky lights? Why? I tell you, if there's one, if there's one thing this game has in spades, it's atmosphere. It's definitely one of those games where you have to. Really immerse yourself into what it is you're doing. Now, the question is. I turned on something on the generator, if I recall, uh, for a different location. Oh, that? shit. Right, let's use this. Ah, oh, here we go, a film reel. An old audio-visual recording. It blows my mind that they had access to sound recording devices. I don't think that can kill me. Right, let's use it here. I wonder if this projector still works. Oh, there we go. Story time? Oh, interview with Ariadne. Okay, so we get to control the uh, weird jawless psychologist that uh, is hunting us down in this crazed asylum. like talking today hmm you know I think you're right but I don't see things like you do if you don't feel like talking you can draw whatever comes to you first I should give something to Ariadne so she can draw there's a box with paints on the table I want to play a game of chess with her. Oh, so late. 
It doesn't like the light. The light? Who doesn't like the light, Ariadne? It. Who is that old lady? It's me. Okay, she turned in the future. Box if you want. Sometimes I hear you playing it when I pass by your room. Well, you're dead. Ariadne is waiting for a music box. Don't do it. And then you'll talk to me. Don't do it. Oh, who's this gentleman? Is it your daddy? No. It's Mr. Neuer. Oh. And the back of the room is now open to us. Yeah, hidey place. That's what I like to see. What have we got here? So, this kid was able to divine the future to some degree? Hmm. Uh, procedure report 031 slash 01. Patient Ariadne Legrand Amsberg. Therapist Dr. Bernice Prestegard. Description. The volunteers are divided into two groups, the experimental group and the control group. The 12 test subjects will be placed in individual padded cells. The six subjects from the control group, North, will live there for the duration of the experiment but will not experience any other change in their usual routine. The six subjects in the experimental group, South, including Ariadne, will be played two cycles of the song from the music box daily, approximately four minutes. This procedure will continue for 21 consecutive days. Notes. The patient is expected to verify that the melody has no effect on, no, on people and this fact is presumed to help in the treatment of her mental condition, which does not seem to improve at all nor respond to other treatments. Regardless of the results, and given the young age of the patient, electroshock is not recommended under any circumstances. Ah, uh, yes. The archaic method of fixing somebody. Zap them till they're better. I see spots of ink on some of the labels, but nothing readable. Okay. All right, got to pause it a second. All right, d did I check this? I did. Seems safe. Okay, let's open the door. This looks fucking interesting. Oh, great. Nice big room. Several freaking doors. I'm going to get lost so hard. Hey, I won't be able to hear what's on the other side. Oh, shit sugar honey iced tea these supplies were stacked up in a hurry I guess they weren't enough
Where am I? Well, not going that way then. Thank you, game, for limiting my options. There's no water in the sink or anything I can take from here. It looks like the closet is open. Hiding here would be child's play. Okay, so we've got a hidey hole. These bodies, for 80 years, nobody knew they were there. And if they did, nobody did anything about it. Why does this look like a trap? That belt that connects the lift's gears is shredded to pieces. So that's the lift then? That must be the other op uh, option on the Jenny. Because there was the lift, or the, uh, the lift, the security, I can't remember what the other option is, and I think I'm pretty sure I flipped to that other option. Okay, that seems safe. But it fucking ain't safe. The morgue. Oh, shizer. Great. A form filled in by Bernice Prestigard detailing our observations during the experiment. Procedure report 031-02. Patient Ariadne Legrand Amsberg, therapist Dr. Bernice Prestigard. Description. Wondering of the experimental process detailed in the report 031-1. Notes. Two of the patients in the experimental group have disappeared. I was doing rounds in the east wing when I began to hear screams coming from the cells. I went in that direction to try and calm the patients down, but they were non-responsive. I'm not even sure if they could hear me. Their screaming was so loud. I ran to the security room and returned with the manager. As soon as he opened the cell, we saw what that it was empty. We could hear shrieking sounds all around us, so it was impossible to know for sure. But I swear the loudest screams were coming from the very room we were about to enter. Besides, as soon as we opened the door, all, the, all of the screaming ceased at once. We've checked the rest of the cells, and one of them is empty. But no one moved any of the patients. What the hell is going on? I must get to the bottom of this. You... No. That's exactly what you shouldn't have done. This place is an abandoned mess. The staff must have been overwhelmed. Oh. Life support machines, I guess. Of the archaic variety. Huh. Wait, something's not right. Why would they close the fridge with the belt? Shit, those bodies bring back memories. I lost count of the times I had to ID a dead friend's body at the morgue. Damn heroin. Scalpel, a sharp surgical instrument. It's still thin and sharp. What on earth happened to these people? What did they do here? So... The light is pretty strong. It's aimed at those refrigerators that lie in the wall. For some reason that feels oddly reassuring. Ah, uh, yeah. Because it doesn't like the light. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Holy shit! sentiments exactly love so we're trapped in here and the only thing i can do really is remove this shall i untie the belt and take it 
Oh. Do I? It's the only thing. Oh. So I've got the morgue. And I've got all those freaking padded cells. But I, if I don't know what's in there, I don't really want to go poking around. But the light's there. Surely that would stop anything that was going to come out and get me. Let me just check that doorway to make sure I can get out should I need to run. But I think if anything happens to me via that, I'm going to be dead anyways. Okay, I don't need to check the door for sounds anymore. Which means we're safe. As far as that's concerned. Huh. Well, shit or bus, I guess. Broken belt. Leather strap similar oh. to a belt. Torn in two. I wonder if I could fix it. Um, that's a good question. Can we fix the belt? Dimwit. There's no way to use this here. Oh, nice. Th thank you. I don't know if you're calling yourself a dimwit or what, but... Shit. I don't think this is going to work. Hmm. Okay, dining hall. Oh, yeah, that room requires a flare. Don't need to go that way. Ta Maybe I could use the belt on the elevator? Daniel, when I met you, you were, you were an invalid. I thought you would end up like this, like so many other friends, but I'm not going to let that happen. Must have missed that one earlier. Hang on. Is there another closet there? No, that, that's the one I checked, isn't it? Looks like the closet is open. Hiding here will be child's play. Okay. Yes, if I could replace the belt, maybe I could get the lift to work again. But the one I have is broken. Shit. Oh, God. Where the bloody hell do I... Oh, stop doing that. Where the bloody hell do I go now? Uh, film projections. I don't want to be going into any of those padded cells. I'm pretty sure they're all going to be death. Wait. Could I use the leather strap to get my hand in... Did I check those? Well. I don't think I can use any of those instruments. They're too worn down. Can I use the leather strap to... Um... <gasps> fuck! Oh no, here we go. Oh. 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 I almost didn't live to see another day. Getting a bit scary, isn't it, love? Ah, stop turning off your light. 
<laughs> um, could I use the leather strap to get my arm through the hole to get the stapler to then fix the leather strap? It's a long way to go. But I reckon I can make it. Yeah, I've got to walk through security, haven't I? Oh, this game. This is where I'm going to get attacked by freaking shadowy creatures. Uh -uh. Oh. Damn it. Okay, so I can't... I need... I'm pretty sure... I need the stapler to fix the leather strap. How the hell do I get the stapler? I haven't found a flare, so I can't very well do anything there. Maybe I use the... Maybe I use the scalpel on the firebox. I, oh, flipping it. Where's all my hidey spots? Okay, so I've got a couple there. Oh, actually. I've got a sneaky suspicion I am not going to be needing to go into the morgue anymore. So, we're going to activate power to the lift, because once I get that up and running, I'll be able to get the hell out of Dodge. got a hidey hole in that room and that is the only one I have. Hey, a clothes box. A heavy metallic box. Yeah. Oh. Box of flares. Metallic box containing emergency flares. Let's see what's inside this thing. If I have to carry these around, at least they'll help me illuminate the darker areas. Flares. Hello? Is there someone there? Oh my god. It's absurd. I don't even know why I came here. Why I'm here. Have I really begun to believe my patient's story? And yet, there's something that I can't explain. It might just be my mind playing tricks on me, but I've started seeing things. And I hear the music from Ariadne's music box in my head. I need to understand this. There's something threatening about this place. The candles help me make the room a bit more cozy, and the last rays of sunshine still come in through the window. But the shadows in this room make me feel uneasy. All I've done is clean off the dust from an old mattress and lie on it, without even taking my clothes off. 
since I don't really think I'll get much sleep in this place. The silence here is oppressive. Almost solid. Aside from the still hum of the phonograph and the old wooden beams creaking, I can't hear a single thing. Back you are a me? fool. Where am I? The first dream. Am I dreaming? I think you might well be, love. And that is where we're going to leave it for now, folks. So I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. I uh, certainly hope you're enjoying uh, Song of Horror. I know I am, to a degree. It gets harder and harder to want to pick this game up, honestly, because it is it, it, it fills me with sheer dread. So, oh dear. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.